Nate Gambit, the athletic director at North Central Missouri College and renowned referees. <laughs> I don't know about all that. Well, I, you know, I do. I've been watching you for a couple of years now, and you're really moving up the referee ladder. And, and can you talk about that a little bit, what, that, what that's like and what it's like to advance in that career? Um, it's just a process. Uh, when I coached, I had no idea uh, what they did and then kind of got into it and they said, you need to come to camps. And I was like, what's camp? <laughs> and it's just part of the hiring process. So, you know, you start with high school and then in the summers you spend – couple thousand dollars and go to these camps and then uh, they teach you skills but um, some of them are hiring some of them are skills camps so you do a few skills camps and you start going to hiring camps and basically it's a job interview if right. you go and do well you have a chance if you go in out of shape don't look the part yeah. don't make right calls whatever then you you don't get the job and so I've been fortunate enough that I got hired pretty quick into college and have just been able to slowly progress through where I was able to get hired in a couple of Division One leagues this year, so it's yeah. been good. Yeah, well, that's what I'm talking about. You had uh, an opportunity to do a Division One game a couple of weeks ago. You got one coming up as well. Uh, yeah, I've been um, was at Fargo at North Dakota State last week. Uh, glad I got to go in November and not yeah. December or January <laughs> right. uh, before the snow hit. Uh, I go to Wright State next week. Um, out in Dayton, Ohio, so that'll be another fun trip, and then I get to make a swing down in Atlanta uh, for three days, uh, middle of December over Christmas break, so should be a good time. Yeah, okay, so where do you want to go with this? Is, uh, would you uh, entertain the idea of doing it full-time? Are, you, are there such things? Yeah, the guys you see on TV, that's a lot of their full-time job, or they own a business or something that just gives them the flexibility to do that. I mean, it's always, you know, it would be pretty cool to do that. Um, I like my job here, so I'm not yeah, just yeah. trying to, it's do or die to get there or whatever. But uh, a lot of people don't understand the scrutiny that comes with that. I mean, people being an official at that level, oh, like right. you're on every fan page, you're like, people know who you <laughs> are. Like it's, I know a couple guys that are at that level and like, you know, they're hated in states right, 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 right. or whatever. But, um, but you know, the pay is good. But if you miss a call in a big situation, you're going to be on sports center for the wrong reasons yeah. the next morning. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. um, they're a different breed of officials. I mean, they're, they're really, really good. Um, and I'm nowhere near that yet, but I'm enjoying where I'm at right now. This is not where we brought you in, but it's a fascinating topic to me. What, what makes a good referee? Um, being humble, understanding, uh, I guess, when you do make a mistake, uh, communication is the biggest. Like with You've got to be able to communicate with coaches. Communicate with players in a way that you can help steer them to make the right decisions or right actions. If you've got a kid that's kind of a troublemaker, if you can talk them out of doing some stuff or talk, you know, we always talk to the post players. We're trying to talk to both of them to keep them both from fouling because usually if their best post players are in, the game's going to be a lot better. Um, the communications with coaches is big. Go from there. Well, let's transition now to North Central and your duties here and, and overall how uh, the first half of this year has started. Now we're into you know, our competitive athletics, yep. if you will. Uh, but the fall has a lot of stuff going on. Yeah, the fall, you know, softball and baseball have kicked off. Uh, and both had really good fall seasons, so we're excited for them. Golf, I think, had their one of their lowest team scores as women's and the men. Um, you know, different tournaments individually did really well, and you know, basketball teams are both ranked now. Um, so we are just rocking and rolling, yeah. and things are going the right direction. The indoor is um, going really well. It's yeah. it's when you actually see it physically, yeah. it's a little bit bigger than you anticipate. I mean, it's going to be the size we need, but. On paper, everything's, you know, 8 by 10, 8 by 11, and it's like, oh, it's not that big. And then when you physically start to see how many sheets of plywood they're putting up, you're like, that's a lot of plywood. It is a lot. All right, but, can you quickly describe what's going to be inside that when it's done? Uh, so the, I've been explaining it is the big part. People are like, well, what's in the big part? Yeah, well, the, the big, big part, part is going to be the turf and netting. That's basically replacing the old um, dairy building. So it's okay. 120 by 80. There's going to be um, all turf. It's going to have plywood walls with paddings on the sides okay. to just help, you know, if people are, you know, running or, you know, a ball hits it, it's going to help deflect it so it's not right. flying okay. off as, as hard. If, if people are by the wall trying to feel the ground or in it, hits the wall, yeah. if there's nothing to deaden it, that ball's going to shoot off that plywood right at them. And, right. and then we have hockey. Yeah. <laughs> then, so we're trying to limit um, just the ricochet aspect with the pads, make it a little bit safer. Um, 
It's going to be 120 by 80. How many, how many tunnels is that? Um, well, if everything's pushed back, you have the 120 by 80 where softball can almost play a full infield. Wow. Softball can have a full infield and do their thing. Um, it's going to have four tunnels. They're going to be, um, I think, 12 foot wide by like 18 foot tall. So you can actually see the ball off the bat. You can see the trajectory, which is nice. big. People still curious about the, the new floor that went in this summer in basketball? We get a lot of compliments, especially from other teams, coaches and fans. Yeah. and. Um, the, it's striking. I, I mean, it's really nice. Yeah, it turned out way better than I could have expected. The gray is the perfect color. Yeah. When I first saw it, I'm like, oh, that's lighter than what I was thinking. But it just, it blends. It just adds another right. layer of gray. It actually makes the gym lighter oh, absolutely. Uh, yeah. in color compared to the yellowish tint that the other had. And That building is now 25 years plus old, and it's fantastic. It's yeah. been well maintained. You it has, do a great job on that. We'll appreciate it. Maintenance crew does a good job. I mean, you know, you go to all the way back to Dr. K and uh, Tyson and the foundation. They've, I've taken some ideas to them, and they've, sure. they've been on board with, with all of them. And I mean, that's the byproduct of it. All of our people that advertise with us for holiday hoops, and you know, that's my big thing. When we go ask people for money, they're like, "Well, what are you going to do with it?" I send them pictures of the gym anytime yeah. before we go do our advertising next year. I send them pictures of all the updates we do, whether it's the gym, the scoreboard, yep. whatever. And yeah. I'm like, here's your money at work. You know, we're not trying to just hold it back and, hey, this is ours. We're not going to do anything with it. Like, we want to feed it. We want you guys to be able to experience it with our athletes. Right. How about the new, uh, it's not new anymore, I guess, but uh, how about the Booster Club? How is that coming along? It's relatively new. Yeah, this is a year, well, they've had it back in the day, and this is kind of our second year revitalizing it. Um, it's going really well. We're over 150 uh, members. Um, it's a ton of support. They do a lot of really good things for us. we got some projects coming up that I'm looking forward to in the spring that um, – We'll probably come back on here a little sometime in the spring. We can talk you more about them it. then. But right. uh, we're still working on some details on it. But just some good, um, good things that they're wanting to put together. But they've the leadership within is really good, and so I'm really happy where it's at. And they, it's a self-run. If I try to run the booster club, it's yeah. not going to be very good. It has to be a member-ran booster club, and they're doing a great job. So many things I want to talk to you about. Can you give us a quick uh, hitter on uh, holiday hoops coming up? Uh, another good year. Uh, we've got, I think, nine days, um, pretty packed days for the most part. A couple where we only have uh, four or five games, but <laughs> only have only, only have only, four or five uh, games, folks. A couple big days where we got the seven and eight games like usual, but a lot of really good talent. A couple new teams. Um, you know, facilities shaping up. It'll be really cool for them to get to see the new floor uh, mm -hmm. and play on the new floor and some of that stuff. So we're looking forward to it. It'll be, uh, it'll be here before we know it. Right, right. Finally, a personal question. Uh, when you wake up in the morning, what excites you about coming to work at uh, North Central and doing the athletic director job? It doesn't seem like work. Yeah. Like, I get up and take the girls to school, and then I get to come here and, like, I get to hang out with my friends, you know, people I, I enjoy, everybody I work with. Uh, I'm a sports fan, so I get to, like last night, I get to come and watch number four ranked team play a really good KCK team. Like, that's my job. It's There's a lot, a lot of worse things that I could be doing than sitting in the stands and rooting on our, our women's basketball team. But I just enjoy it. I enjoy being around people, you know, just Every, like even when I work the morning shifts, you know, I have my group of people that come in and we get to talk and have, you know, quick conversations and it's just it's just fun. I just enjoy it. Ed Gamut is the athletic director here at North Central Missouri College. Thanks for uh, kind of going through some of this stuff. I've, I'm sure a lot of people are curious about uh, things, and so I hope we hit on a couple of those. So thank no, you. Not a problem anytime. We'll be back the second half about to start and we'll be back for that in a moment.